Well, gang, it seems like we got another mystery out of our hands. This time it's to do with the Nick Merck situation, right? Nick Merck started calling out Tim the Tatman, face swag as well, swag. Yep, the swag was also shadow banned the other day. And then uh, he called up Activision to be put on the Diddy list, though, uh, to the normies. Uh, for the normies that do not know, Diddy list is basically the white list for Call of Duty, okay? Yeah. So he asked Activision to be on the Diddy list. So now he's like unbanned and yeah, we recovered the story. And we have an update on the Nick Merck's drama. We're gonna get right into it thank you all for all the amazing support on the channel let's go for two likes on the video and let's just jump into it shout out to the homie the rick roll it living under a rock which i don't think any of you are doing that you should all know exactly who nick Merckx is nick Merckx is a streamer probably still regarded as a top streamer in the streaming community who yeah. used to always play call of duty especially mm. call of duty warzone he used uh -oh. to play with people like tim the Tatman, dr disrespect before all the you know what happened yeah. swag all of those guys that were also top streamers within the call of duty community well as you all may know if you don't you can go look it up i'm not going to talk about it much in this video him and activision didn't really have a good uh Thing. Yeah, right. I, I, it's not just like him and he Activision didn't had. It's like they really did not. It's not just they did not. They really don't have a good relationship right now, bro. Going on the past year or so. He had a little controversy, a little beef with them. Not a little, brother. Not a little. It's not just a little, man. It's just. It, it, it's more than that. They say, "I, right, bro, you gotta go." And when a brother gotta go, and a, a brother gotta go. Okay. So yeah. And Nick Merckx was like, "Okay, tired of people walking all over me." This is how I'm gonna fight back. So yeah, it's a situation. It really is a situation. Um, and uh, ever since then, he's really gone away from Call of Duty content and from Call of Duty in general. Now, he, uh, and the beef was revolving around Nick Merck saying, leave the kids alone, essentially, right? Which I think was fair to say, because yeah, like leave the kids alone. That should not be a, any any controversial take, but apparently it was a controversial take. Uh, and Activision was like, okay, then we're gonna like part ways with you, you know? I got these clips here that I want to show you regarding what he has to say about people like Tim the Tatman and Swag when it comes to what they say about Call of Duty today. Check out this first mm. clip. Let's start off by saying this, man. It's going to be really tough to take any of these creators seriously, especially like like Swag, Tim, any type of like Call of Duty primary creators. Damn. Like when, when, when Call of Duty is their main thing and their only thing, it's hard to take their opinion as, as Bond because yeah. look, yeah, they're... Yeah. They're being paid in some way or the other, and they're just happy to be there. They're around all the, you know what I mean? It's vibe. It's all energy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. and it's also kind of wild, right? Like, now that Nick Marks is, like, name-dropping Tim the Tatman, swag as well. I mean, he's not saying anything too bad. He's just speaking the facts, right? Like, yeah, the money and this and that while he's, like, <laughs> while he's, like, gambling, but that's besides the point. And, of course, like, two days ago, the homie, <laughs> the homie swag was caught by the ricochet anti-cheat system and he was put in a hacker's lobby because the anti-cheat thought that he was cheating and whatnot and then he called activision and he was like hey put me on the diddy list put me on the diddy list so that's what happened that's what that's where yeah that's all the context all right let's get back to it if they're playing something new that feels good right everybody loves that when you're playing something new and you're the first one to do it it's gonna feel good you're gonna get those little little feelings in your uh, stomach and your mind and shit it's gonna be exciting you know you're you know you're with all your people but you just but, gotta take it with a grain of salt, man, because every fucking year, no matter the Call of Duty, it's always the same shit. It's the same shit. Is it not? Like, every Call of Duty, they all say it's gonna be the, the best year, the yeah. biggest year, this is gonna be crazy. Biggest year, this and that, and then you hear about the friendly BBC Inbound, BBC Online, BBC this, this, that, yeah. <laughs> Like, it, it, it's that's Call of Duty for you, right? Friendly UAV Online. See, I came back from the last Call of Duty thing, and I said that the game was gonna be good. But I didn't say anything close to what these other motherfuckers were saying, man. They were all the best Call of Duty, yeah, best Warzone, Warzone's back. I'm like, bro, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, yeah. bro, I showed up that Call of Duty next, and I took over, man. We got the first win. We are the, I mean, it was a fucking party, you know? I'm hoping for a good day for Call of Duty, you know? I really fucking am. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. This wait is exactly it. why I love Nick Merckx, and I hope wait to God he can see this it. video. From that first clip of the two that I'm going to show you today, he says what everybody thinks, Another and one. he says what everybody knows to be true. He has zero mm. filter. He is not mm. backing down. He is not trying to get on Activision's good side because mm. he does not care. He's going to stick to what he believes. He does not need to go and chase the money. He just spits facts. And that is exactly why I love that he said this on his live stream. And I feel like a lot of you guys need to see that to realize what he is saying is absolutely true because take it from yeah. him. Yeah, he used yeah. to be one of those guys he is talking about. 
He used to be like Tim the Tatman. Swag. Yeah, ha had it been, had it been, he never, I, I I wonder, right? Like, if he never said, leave the kids alone, what would have happened? I mean, I'm glad he said that, he said that because, yeah, honestly, it's speaking like it's wild as to what's going on, right? But he said that, then he got banned by Activision. And I guess, like, if he kept his mouth shut, I feel like that he would have been invited out once again by Activision, but he did not. So respect, respect for that. I mean, he's speaking his mind, you know, whether you agree or not with him, whether you like him or not, that's different, right? And it's okay if you like him or not like him or you agree with him or not agree with him. That's your, that's your personal belief. That's your personal belief, right? I, I get that part. I get that. Uh, but you got to respect the man for, for, for him to like speak his mind. You, you feel what I'm saying? And, and no hate to Tim either or anybody that's like loving the game or playing the game or want to make money by promoting the game. But of course, like if uh, Tim is like on the inside is not liking the game and he's like, hey man, I'm excited, I'm excited for the game, I'm excited for the game. Then like, what are we talking about? Then that's that's kind of different, right? But it'll be what it be, man. It'll be what it be. It'll be what it be. But he paid see. all that money to go to these events to play the game nonstop on live streams and say good things about it. He used to be like those people. Now yeah, he's not. Yeah. Him and Activision, they had that beef. They got away from each other. And now he knows that what he's saying is the truth mm. because of course he lived it. Ladies and gentlemen, he is spitting facts. You will never see one of those top content creators like Swag talk bad <laughs> shit about this game. Holy. We all know Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is not where it's supposed to be. We all know there is a terrible anti-cheat in the game. There's a terrible algorithm. There is a terrible... And, and that's besides the point, right? Because just the other day, he was actually banned, shadow banned by the anti-cheat, uh, the Ricochet, because the Ricochet anti-cheat thought that he was cheating. Now that, it's insane, right? It, it is insane and then he calls activision and he's like yo man activision hey yo what like put me on the diddy list no <laughs> put me on the uh, uh, basically means the white list right yeah so it exposes the fact that the white list is real white list is essentially to those of you that do not know white list is like a list where all the top content creators would be they are on the list and essentially they cannot get banned and whenever they get banned, they're like, huh, 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 what's going on? What's going on? We saw the reaction of Swag live on the stream. And he was put in a different lobby. And, and as soon as he got in the lobby, he's like, hey, bro, like, I'm not used to this. So he, he had the Tyrese Gibson moment live on stream. Uh, I love that. I love that, right? When Tyrese Gibson actually in Fast and Furious uh, 8 said that when he lands in, I believe, Russia in a cold place when where it's snowing, Tyrese Gibson in the movie is like, hey, man, I ain't built for this weather, man. So Swag had the same moment. He's like, hey, bro, like, uh, what? My <laughs> this lobby, what? What is going on? This lobby essentially, he is so used to playing against bots and low level players for his skill that once he was put in a different lobby where there were a lot of high level player and cheaters included, this and that, he was like, Hey, bro, like, what? Like, this is not for me, I'm not built for that one. So, he had that reaction live on stream and he instantly called Activision, and apparently, now he got unbanned. <laughs> or unbanned from the shadow ban list if that makes sense so it is yeah man so you, you just gotta say like good things about call of duty you gotta constantly like uh you know suck their bbc this and that you will be invited out a and here's the thing though like this, most of you guys are new here i was also invited out back in modern warfare 19 oh, shit. Oh, shit. and i didn't like the game initially i i was really excited for it like if you yeah i remember the leaks that were coming out for modern warfare 19 i was loving the leaks i was loving the information i was excited for modern warfare 19 at that time and when the and, and that's why they invited me out right but when the game came out we discovered skill based matchmaking we did not know about it prior but we discovered so i started covering that story right and i did not agree with that and, and there were a lot of like aspects about the maps promoting camping the maps promoting all of the the terrible stuff the terrible gameplay style right and then all that crap so i was uh, making videos against it guess what they did not invite me and at that point i had the i had the option to stop covering that crap you thank for subscribing cameron i had i had the option to stop it or continue i went the route with the uh, I, I went in the route of continuing because uh, i don't want to be be lying and crap like that i don't yeah right so right now i'm enjoying black ops 6 so i'll say that but skill based matchmaking gotta go it gotta go even though skill based matchmaking i would say is kind to me but that's probably placebo because i still get one kill one death 
I, I basically play Call of Duty while watching podcasts in the background. I have been saying that in my previous videos too. So that's probably why I enjoy my time with it. Other than that, I don't think I would be enjoying my time too much. Now, get, uh, as we get down to the second clip here, real quick, guys, I want to say if you do have Instagram, uh, Twitter, or X, I would definitely love to have you there. Links are always in the pinned comment. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. Terrible, just bad game out there that everybody's playing yet these guys are gonna go sit out there and say it's the best game they're gonna continue mm. to get all of these call of duty things sent to them through mail all these controllers mm. all these mouse pads all those care packages for the new call of duty game and they're gonna be paid all this money to continue to keep playing it and saying good things that yeah, is just yeah, not yeah. truth it's not facts that is why i continue to know i will never be invited to a call of duty next event yeah, i'll be yeah, never yeah. invited to a call of duty oh uh, you have to suck their bbc's bro like otherwise they, they will not invite you even charlie until was kind of banned temporarily from being invited out yeah you guys remember that i, I don't think you do oh, right shit. yeah charlie until started like tweeting some negative stuff about call of duty and then he said that hey this year he's not invited i forgot like which year he was not invited i feel like he was not invited for modern warfare 2023 could be wrong or maybe he was not invited at like a dlc event but he did say i remember that charlie until right on twitter x said that he he's not getting invited out by activision and that was because he was being super critical and now he's invited out because he's not critical anymore so you just gotta suck it up you gotta suck their bbc just be positive positive all the time and they will invite you out they will invite you out that's what it is land event i never will I, if activision ever did oh my god heaven and earth they just flipped i don't know what's going on it's never gonna happen because i say what i think and everybody the majority of people there's a lot of haters out there that don't like the rick and that's okay but a lot of people agree with me we all know skill-based matchmaking is ruined the game and of course these top content creators they might talk about it here and there but they're but not they're gonna not rip gonna. it apart they're, they're not, not gonna, gonna rip apart activision for being a terrible they just can't bro they just can't and I, I don't listen man i don't hate them i i don't hate any of these guys like i i understand man quite frankly i get it <laughs> you know what i mean no hate man i'll love man but i i get it i understand because if they talk about it they're not gonna be invited out man they're not gonna be invited off they're not gonna be paid they're not gonna get early content to post either so i i get it man like you guys gotta understand for them like it's a business and yeah right i i i it would be what it be, man. it would be what it be. The last company for having a terrible anti-cheat. For being one of the worst multi-billion dollar companies ever to make a Call of Duty game. They would never do that. Because guess what? If they do, their money's gone. Their money's gone. It's not going to happen. And Nick Merckx knows that. And that is why I love this clip. Because we all need to see that what these people are saying, these top content creators, it's not true. These gameplays they're showing, they're obviously fake. It's two box. It's VPN. We all know that those lobbies don't happen to the majority of us because mm. we play in real skill based matchmaking. We're not gifted all of this shit like these top content creators to make the game look good, to make the game look fun. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Is Nick Merckx ever going to return to Call of Duty? Let's look Maybe. at this clip. Maybe. I just, I just haven't been into playing anything really, man. I'm, not, I'm just not feeling it, you know? God looks so horrible. However, today is a big day for Call of Duty. Also a little bittersweet on that front too, because as a as a as a company, you know, we don't see eye to eye anymore. Uh, you know, business practices, right? They're they're a little DEI. They're a little, you know, they got an inclusivity at the fucking front door. You know what I mean, right? They got the, they got all the colors out, and out right? The the uh, the trans flag at the front door. You know what I mean? If you don't bow to it, then you you're not gonna get invited to any type of shit. So mm, obviously we yeah. don't see eye to eye and some shit like that. But um, look. Two genders. Like the video if you think there are two genders, guys. Dislike if you think there are 5,000 genders. I want to know where you guys at. Call of Duty, on the other hand, is a game that I grew up playing, man. Like a lot of you guys, you know, we grew up. It's, it's a, it's a two, chapter in the book, two, two, two. Set, you know what I mean? A big one. Pasa? So there's always going to be love for Call of Duty to some degree. Not as much as there used to be, but there will always be love. Um, so, again, hopeful that today's a good day and that the stuff they show with the Battle Royale anyway is, is fucking promising. Because if it is, maybe we can jump back into a full schedule. Where we're fucking oh, <laughs> playing COD again, you know? I wouldn't mind that. Just not just the, like the way it is now. I have I have zero interest, man. Mm. I, I don't know how you guys are getting on playing that shit every day. It's really really boring. Like it was fun for a little bit, but now it's to the point where I just. For me, I took a break last year. Right, didn't play for a solid year, and even before that, like I I stopped playing Call of Duty religiously, so I would play once in a while. Uh, and last year, just completely, like, I, I didn't buy Modern Warfare 2023, so I think that's probably why. That's probably why, like, now I'm jumping back into it, and eventually I'm gonna be burnt out again, so. We've done everything you can do. It it's the same shit, like, oh, they buffed this gun. 
Yeah. Into the same map. It's just nah, you know? It's like the FIFA's, the NBA's, the NFL's. It's like the same game, WWE 2K's, right? It's the same game every year, just slightly better. Uh, say, uh, iPhone, Samsung, you know, it's like that. You're not necessarily gonna see the upgrade unless you're gonna, I guess, buy once every three years or four years, sometimes even five years as well, right? <laughs> That's when you're gonna notice like a big, uh, big upgrade. But other than that, like there isn't, man. It's always like the incremental changes. <laughs> As you can see, it's going to take a lot for Nick to get back to playing Call of Duty. And yeah, it all really relies on Warzone. Is it going to be good or not? We, we won't know until it comes out. And obviously, it's all a matter of opinion. Maybe I think it's good and he thinks it's shit. Who knows? But it's sad because we all know when we hear Nick Merckx, we think of obviously Fortnite. That's when I first found him. He was very good at Fortnite, oh, man, especially yeah. for being on PlayStation. But we also Yo. think of Warzone. When Warzone came out, him, Tim the Tap. Man. What, what's happening with what's happening with Fortnite right now? I, I don't hear about it as much. But yeah, Fortnite was big, bro. It was stupid big. Even now it's big, but I don't hear about it as much. Makes sense, right? It's uh, The game blew up around 2017, 2018. So it certainly came out before that even. Six years minimum, right? It's been out for six years. It's crazy. It is crazy. Man, a Dr. Disrespect, some of the funniest games you'll ever see. Now, of course, that's never going to happen because of the whole, you know, what situation. Mm. And I don't blame him. Just, it's very weird. I don't know the fact. Yeah, like Nick Merck's, with, uh, Nick Merck's drama with Call of Duty and also drama with Dr. Disrespect, right? Yeah. And Tim, he, he's doing his own thing, I guess. Swag, I, I believe he, he don't even necessarily play much with... Uh, I don't know if he played with Doc a lot or not. I don't think he played that much with Doc. I, I didn't. I, I don't watch Doc that much, but I sometimes would tune in back in the days, right? Uh, so I don't know if Swag played a lot. I don't necessarily watch streams in general. L let me know in the comments. Did uh, did Swag play a lot with Nick, Swag, uh, Doc, and Tim back in the days before like the Nick Marx drama and Doctor Disrespect drama? Facts, whatever. I'm gonna stay out of that. But it's sad because it was prime entertainment at that time. And mm, I would love crazy, for Nick man, to come crazy. back and be great, great, great content. But who knows? We won't know until it comes out. But it's crazy. All what happened over the past year. And I just love that he's still spitting facts. And I really do like what he's doing over the past. The beefs have been killing it, man. The beefs be killing the community, man. Guys, don't be beefing, man. Don't be beefing, bro. Beefings don't do anything, man. It's all love, man. But when a brother gotta go, a brother gotta go, though. I do agree with that, but like... I right, bro, you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> but don't be like beefing like that, guys. Check out this video on the screen recently. The homie, this is that massive clip, okay, of the homie Blame Truth. He is not stopping. You you wanna know what happened with the homie Blame Truth? Bro, check this video out and I'll see you right there. Huge beef going down, man. Yeah, bro, I don't know, man, how Activision's gonna take this one. Check it out and I'll see you there.